coming to realize that I'd been taking babies away from their mamas, I think that was probably, that's been the hardest thing. I'm Jennifer Barrett and this is my husband Rodney and we are here in Wicks, Arkansas where we've lived for 20 years. Up until last September, we were raising chickens here in these chicken houses and raising cattle. We are now vegan and going to convert our poultry barns into growing mushrooms. Anybody that would buy into any part of the animal protein business right now, I think would be plum foolish. Having bought into this business fully, like put our lives on the line and been in it for 20 years, it does not work. You're pretty much buying into it. Indentured servitude. Pretty much. We've raised birds from 99 to September 2018. Now we're on a, a whole lot bigger adventure. The last time they came out to catch chickens, I was sitting out on the porch when the catch crew came in. And I was just thinking, oh, I bet those guys would so much rather be coming out here to harvest mushrooms than to do this job, than to catch these birds. They bring a, a crate into the building, and then you've got five or six guys that'll be loading that crate while the loader goes out to get another crate until they clean that whole house out. When I was in high school, the very first batch that they caught, I cried because I, I just was so upset that I knew they were all gonna go be slaughtered. So I just detached myself from this. So watching this right now is, it, it's hard. This was the most hellish situation. A person, a bird, a, a, I don't even understand why this even exists or how I ever participated. Coming to realize that I'd been taking babies away from their mamas, I think that was probably, that's been the hardest thing. But it's stunning. It's stunning to me that I, I was like, how did I not see it? How did I not? The last time we took babies to the sale, the mothers were just like waiting, bawling. crying, bawling. Babies were crying, bawling. It's just all this chaos, which I used to only hear is like, it annoyed me. You know, we're down there working and I'm, I'm like, There's what, I can't thing. hear you. But that time I was like, these are mothers crying for their babies. But now, knowing that every baby that's been born here since then gets to stay with its mom, gets to stay with its mother, and the mother gets to keep her baby. I don't want to curse, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I ever f with that. Back in October, my, um, my daughter, she was eight months pregnant, and we'd already had the baby showers and everything. And she went into labor and we went to the hospital and there was no heartbeat and the baby was gone. And to witness that, to witness my very human daughter's heartbreak um, because her baby was gone, it shook me, it changed me on a soul level um, that that is not, humans aren't just the only ones that feel that. You know, I've been around enough animals, I've been around, you know, dogs that have had puppies, cows that have had babies, cows that adopt babies that aren't even theirs, that they have this beautiful, lovely maternal instinct, just like us. And for us to just be taking that and, and thinking that we have some kind of right to meddle with that at all. And it's not necessary. It's so, totally not necessary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, it's, and, and that truth is hidden. And it's being hidden every day and covered up so people won't see it, mm -hmm. based on, around money. When I was with Tyson, the yearly bonuses went out for the CEOs, and one of the CEOs for Tyson got $26.5 million as a bonus. So what kind of bonuses did the farmers get that year? <laughs> <laughs> one year they brought us a ham, a box of chocolate. Yeah, a box of chocolate. That was Something awesome. Like that. When we got into the business, you you think you're doing something that's helping, or we did, you know, it was, it was part of 
who we were as farmers. People don't know right. what they're doing. You know, everybody grows up into the culture that we live in right now where, you know, we eat animal products and processed foods. That's a lack of education that needs to be taught. For the future, it's, it's much more sustainable than what we were doing and a whole lot better for humanity.